Did you just listen to the news? I have been telling you. You've been reading stuff on Twitter? Yes, and I've been telling you, and it's all been right. Oh, come on, it's not all been right. There were people talking about people dying in the literal tens of thousands. Yeah, there were. So isn't that mental? Okay, so one, what's your ableist language? And two, clearly not. The government are literally telling everybody to stay in their homes. Everybody. They really wouldn't be doing that if they didn't think the only other option was thousands of people dying. But not tens of thousands. Don't try to one-up me in a pandemic. And fingers crossed. So what are we going to do? What do you mean? Well, with what the government is saying. Um, we're going to stay indoors? Yeah, but what about this weekend? What about it? I mean, we're still getting together, right? Like, obviously not the pub, but... I mean, mine or yours is basically what I'm saying. No. No what? Well, really, just like the actual word no. In what sense? Sid? Ah, right. In the negative sense. In the sense of meaning no. It's actually quite a common word. I don't know how familiar we are with it. Maybe it's a cis white male thing, but a lot of us in the statistical outlier demographics actually hear it quite a lot. Alright, alright. Stop being hilariously woke and be serious. I'm being glib. And I'm also being serious. Seriously? Seriously serious. So what are we going to do? We're going to stay in our homes like that nice Mr Johnson said to do. He's not nice. He's not nice. But he is right. Just this once. Stop clock and all that. A stopped clock. Exactly. But but when I say what are we going to do, I mean like us. Well, I don't know about you, but I've got a whole series uncompleted on Netflix. Yeah, but... It's not going to be forever. But when are we going to... I think we might not be getting to ellipse question mark for a while. Jesus. Just keep yourself busy. <laughs> right oh. I didn't mean like that. I don't know what you mean. We all read a winky smiley into that last one. Did you mean winky, or...? Just don't do yourself an injury. This is going to be hard. Very good. Keep it up, said James. Oh god, now I'm doing it. No, I, I mean... This is going to be hard. Seriously? Seriously, seriously. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yo. Yo. Getting bored yet? You know what? Don't tell work, but maybe. There's only so many new languages you can learn. I've already baked a sourdough, and, and what's next after that? Crochet? Unless there's still more left to be milked from Netflix. Netflix? Completed it, mate. <laughs> nice. Thanks. I stole it from Twitter. Who said it there? Literally everybody. Like, genuinely, I think it's every third comment that isn't a sourdough, a crochet, or a graph about predicted deaths. God. I guess we are all in the same boat. Except for doctors and nurses. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. And key workers. Hooray for them. And the dying and the dead. Right. Yeah. I suppose this is what it's all about. Not just a middle class holiday. Or early retirement. Right. Have you got on that Zoom yet? In what sense? You've not downloaded it. You're risking your early adopter status. Oh, is it that phone app thing? Video calls, no less. Like we're living in the future. What, like Skype? Oh yeah, kind of. But, but you can have loads of people on one call. Right. So, like Skype. And that does also sound like a particular circle of hell. Maybe. Anyway, everyone's on it. Even Mum. Your Mum? Yeah, Kate persuaded her. 
She just about managed to work it out on her own, too. Wow. Yeah, I know. We really are living in the future. She got to see Kate's kids and, uh, do you know, it was really, actually, genuinely kind of emotional. Yeah, sounds good. I'd look into getting it. Yeah, maybe. I think I was trying to hold off until I'd developed my opinion of it vicariously. Then we could talk face to face. That is true. Man, I've missed that. So how many languages have you learned so far? That judgmental little owl would probably say something hovering around none. But I reckon I'm close to at least seven by now. Pretty standard. Let me guess. Uh, Uzbek, Tagalog, Finnish, Swahili. Yep, all right so far. And obviously Klingon. Obviously. Although I'm surprised you weren't fluent in that already. (laughs) Man, I miss you. Yeah. I miss you too. Yo! You there? Yeah, how are things? Okay, so I've downloaded it. What? Zoom. Apparently we're needing it for work because God forbid we should miss out on having three hour meetings about nothing. Oh wow, that's great. Obviously terrible about work, but yes! I know, right? So how have you found it? Not used it yet. Do you fancy being my guinea pig? Do you know? If you'd have used that turn of phrase at the start of our relationship... You would have said yes even quicker. Like a rat up a drainpipe. Or a guinea pig. Or a guinea pig, exactly. But, in all seriousness, are you up for being my beta test? I think that's the most romantic thing you've ever said to me. Yep. And are you? It would be my honour. Okay, one sec. This may take some working out. Right, can you hear me? Am I I coming through? Yeah, yeah, loud and clear. Yeah, can you? Are you? you? Oh, 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 right. (laughs) Yeah. Right, okay. That's, that's, That's a yes all round then. Magic. Sorted. Oh my god, this is so good. I can see you. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. It's, oh. Uh, what? Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, what, yeah you... uh, oh, no. Well, I was going to say it's It's hard to think of what to say now. Been, yeah. Now we're in person. It's like, well, you can say anything, can you? Yeah. Some. Um, it's like you're really on the spot. Yeah. Yeah. So have you have you got bored enough? Like, um, are you, have you thought about zooming the family? My family? You got to be kidding! I don't think they'd want to see me anyway. No, it's definitely all work stuff. Um, apart from you, obviously. Yeah. Are you still bored enough that, like, that's, you know, being bored is a relief. Do you know what I mean? Because mm. I think I'm, out. I'm getting... I... Oh, what? Sorry? No. I was just thinking... No, you... Uh, no, no, I wasn't, you... I wasn't saying anything. I was just... Sorry. Oh. Oh. Uh, no, sorry. You you go. You were saying about work. Yeah, well, work have realised just how doable nearly everything we do is from home. So, yeah. That's happening. Oh God, yeah, sounds like sounds you, awful. Like download a ton of stuff for processing data and handling calls through the official intranet, and it um, takes yeah. so much oh. bandwidth. Sid, I think. And... Oh, sorry, I think I lost you there. Oh, did it? It's, yeah, sort of like froze and. Oh God, okay. I I couldn't quite oh, I couldn't quite hear. Well, sorry, did you um? How, well, how much did you catch? The gist, maybe. Uh, well, it was it was all about the gist, anyway. Busy Sid. Busy Sid, exactly. Speaking of which. Right, right, yeah, sure, no, yeah, good, right, good, right. 
Cool. See you in the messages. See ya. And, and thanks, that was... Oh. She gone. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Slow. Lockdown is endless. Yeah. Isn't it? Well, I'm sure Her Majesty's government is still going to find a way to come out of it too early, like they went into it too late. God, would you really rather have spent longer under lockdown? I'd rather we didn't top 20,000 dead. Oh, right, yeah. So, you know, on balance. No, no, I've got your message received, loud and clear. As much as I really do miss you. Phew, oh, I was wondering if I was going to have to fish for that. But I still have a ton to do. Basically, my home is my office now, which is nice for tea and toilet breaks, but... No. I'm not going to moan. What I'm saying is, it's not like I'm under house arrest. I can still go to the shops. Wearing a mask. It's what they're making people do elsewhere. I reckon it's a matter of time. I tried wearing mine once, but got nothing but funny looks. I chickened out every time after that. Let them give you funny looks. At least you're not killing anyone. Yeah, well, hopefully they'll bring in a law or something and I won't feel like such a pillock for wearing it. Like with seat belts and bike helmets. You wear a bike helmet to the shops? Only if I feel there's a risk of heavy things falling from high shelves. <laughs> Very wise. Thanks, I thought so. So, are you up for a zoom in a bit? I'd love to see your mask. Oh, no, I can't really. Soz. Oh no, sure. Work, yep. I've I've got to time my uploads for when I won't have meetings. They ask us to send these huge files, but then the pipes get clogged and Zoom freezes and we get told off if we can't be heard, so... Yeah, no problem. I, I should probably get off anyway. That language-obsessed owl has been needling me about translating sentences and I, I should probably go and attend to him. Okay, go! Go, Godspeed! You nail that Klingon. Ooh, uh, what was that, Sid James? Yep. Yeah. Definitely hard. Hey, how's it going? Mildly intense. <laughs> nice choice of words. So not making the most of the easing? Kind of a bit busy for that, to be H. Sure, sure. Me neither. I'm not sure what I'd want to do, if I'm honest. Go to a gym? Don't think so. Or to the pub with only people you live with. Right, exactly. It almost makes you feel lonelier than not going out at all. Yep. Hey, can we zoom? I don't have the bandwidth at the moment, sorry. <laughs> Emotionally or digitally? <laughs> oh, come on. Don't. Oh. Please. Oh, like really? Have I hit a nerve? No, of course not. Because I can... Oh. I'm just very busy. Mentally and everything. Uh, okay. There's a lot to juggle, okay? And you'd rather not have me adding to that? Don't say it like that. Do I sound ruthless? Honestly? Honestly. No. You there? Yo, yo, what's up? Sorry about not having time and stuff earlier. No worries. I know how work like to take all your stuff. They really do. I'm kind of envious, really. Of work for having all my stuff. Of having things to do. You do things. You're not idle. Purposeful things. Things that feel like they mean something. Right. I just feel a bit like I'm on pause. Like life can only happen again after someone high up presses some big red reset or resume button. Like I, I could do something, anything, but anything I do do is, well, it doesn't matter. It might just as well not have been done as be done. Does that make sense? 100%. Thank God for that. It is shit. Yeah. But it will end. 
You could say that about life. You could? Yeah. But don't. Sid, are you up? No, no worries if not. Sid? Okay, no worries. Hey, what's up? This is early for you. Yeah. Um, what? I've had news. What? Um, Mum just texted. Um, my uncle's died. Oh God, Matt. I'm so sorry. Thanks. I really didn't expect this. It wasn't Uncle Pete. Yeah. Oh man. Oh God, I'm so sorry. That's just awful. Yeah, it really is. He was only what? Six, 62? 64. That's nothing these days. Yeah. Can we zoom? I've, I've got a work upload. Okay. I mean, it's just it. It'd be super glitchy. Sure. We we can. It's just I don't know if it'd be harder, you know, with the freezing and if we can't necessarily follow each other and. No, no. Yeah, you're right. Chat is best. Okay. Cool. It'd be stupid to ask how you're feeling. Bad. I'll bet. It's just not fair. That's the real thing of it. It really isn't. The whole thing. It's not like I've got a shortage of crap relatives. Cull them. Yeah. Sorry, that was really horrible. Can we zoom? Sure. Hi. Hey. How, how are you? You okay? Yeah, just just hitting. I just hit nothing. I just yeah. I don't know what to say? <laughs> okay. No. 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 You still there? Are, are you okay? Is it gonna, is it going to be easier typing? I, I'm here as long as you need. Just whenever whenever you can type. There's no hurry. I'll just be here. Whenever. Hey. Thanks. Sorry, just needed to compose myself. Yeah, of course. I understand. Thanks. So, do you want to talk about it? Um. There's, n there's no hurry. Uh, yeah. Honestly. Honestly? Yeah. Maybe it can wait. Hey. Hey. Just get back. Yeah, well I didn't really go anywhere. Not really. You didn't? It was all over video. Oh, yuck. Yeah. Did you get the chance to talk to family much before or, or after? Not really. No more than usual. And how was the service? How are they ever? They're all the same. 
Did it reflect him though? Did it did it capture the Pete you remember? He wasn't there. No. No one was bloody there. It was an empty room, more or less. And a lot of little voyeuristic living rooms and badly lit pasty white faces looking in like ghouls. God, sounds awful. At least with a normal funeral, you're all facing front. You don't actually have to catch the disingenuous look in people's eyes as they perform their grief for the camera. And they could all see themselves. They, they knew what they looked like. Trying not to primp and preen when anyone was looking. And I could see me too. I looked exactly the same. A nodding donkey with big sad eyes and nothing useful to say and no no legacy from what Pete uh, from from what Pete actually sod it. Funerals are always awful. The only comfort is having people around who get it. Right. And they weren't there. Or at least not in person. And not even on the phone. Or at all. Really? Nobody wanted to speak afterwards. It would have been exactly the same conversations we've been having for weeks anyway. We're sick of the sound of our own voices and saying the same bloody things to everyone every time we speak to someone new and we're sick of telephones and texts and WhatsApp and most of all, we're sick of Zoom. Yeah. And here we are on it, watching the final moments of goodbye for one of my favourite human beings who ever lived that wasn't David Attenborough. Like it's some YouTube clip from a world's most boring videos compilation that you just compulsively watch to the end out of morbid curiosity. And we know we won't talk after. And we can't talk during. And the next time any of us speaks to anyone, it'll be one-to-one -one and cold and distant and estranged and all the same old formalities. And how are you keeping? And tough this, isn't it? And how much longer do you think they'll keep this going? And he had a good life, didn't he? And he didn't. None of us do. It's only constant movement and activity and noise that makes us think we do. But we don't. Any moment of pause or stillness makes it clear how empty and thin and quickly over all this is. Matt, do you want to talk? I am talking. Not in a healthy way. What healthy way is there to talk about any of this? Maybe we can find one? Matt? Matt? Okay. in your own time. Hey, sorry for earlier. No apologies needed. I think I went insane. Um, language? No, I'm, I mean legitimately, like genuinely. Lockdown fever or, or boredom or grief or... Well, something got to me. I was out of my wits, for real. You sounded pretty rational to me. I didn't to me. Those were rational feelings you were expressing as a rational response to losing someone you loved. Well, okay. But still, can we just forget about it? Please. Okay. Sure. Thanks. That's okay. And, and I really do think I've got lockdown fever, or something, or, or Zoom fever. They're saying in all the papers there's a there's a mental health crisis epidemic thing. I'm definitely feeling that. Yeah, having worked in the field, I'd question their maths. But it makes sense, doesn't it? That the ultimate triumph of post scarcity capitalism, all of us atomized and individualized, locked up in little consumer bubbles. You've given this a lot of thought. No access to strangers, to serendipity, to human touch. Maybe too but much every access to online purchasing the weekly shop the little consumer indulgence medicine takeaways anything you could want from the world but what matters mm. bit florid given everything imaginable but the nutrition of our soul like a plane of hell trapped in our own material indulgence very pretty well done nice theft of my metaphor all the wretched of england all wrapped up and trapped in zoom meetings speaking of which oh scheduled for two so I should probably at least brush my hair maybe stretch to eyeliner sure sure speak soon probably
Hey. Hey. Still busy? Great so. Ugh. Oh, sorry. No, no, it's it's not you, it's all this. What? All of it? The endless lockdowns, the social distance. Ugh, just everything. Yep. This is wretched. Just try to stay busy. It isn't wretched for you. I've got a lot on. So it isn't? Are you saying you'd be happier if it was? I don't know. You don't know if you'd prefer me to be feeling wretched or content? Wretched is maybe a strong word. God, I don't have time for this. But I also don't have time for not this. How do you mean? Sid? Things are shit at the moment. Like, really, really shit. For everybody. I know you're having a hard time. I don't want you to be having a hard time, but there's next to nothing I can do about it. But also don't say I haven't tried. If one of the few things I can do to make you feel better is to have an awful time myself, then that's... That's... Sid? Ugh. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit send, but... Getting this into words is really hard. Alright, Sid James. No. No? Not now. What have I done? Stop trying to make this easy for yourself. Stop trying to make it fun or funny. Oh. Okay. Shit. Yeah. Okay. So this is really serious. Sid. Sid? Okay. Okay, I said this was going to be long. Don't skim it, please. You need to hear it all. Because all this depressive feeling stuck and lost stuff, this is all about you. Not me. Not work. It's you. You're feeling stuck because you are stuck and you're stuck because you're holding yourself back. I know it looks like the whole world is conspiring to stop you from doing the things you love, from living the life you want, but we all saw this coming. Stop blaming this on predictable events. If this were any other time, in any other situation, how would you think of yourself for being so passive, so reluctant to move forward or change any aspect of your life? Yes, things are unpredictable. Yes, everything is in flux, but that's literally what life is like. Maybe yours has always been so comfortable and straightforward that effort always got rewarded and maybe even sheer lack of effort sometimes too but Jesus Matt life is really unjust a lot for a lot of the time for most people you can volunteer and I know you have you can sign up to petitions and political parties to address that but that's that's just well-meaning middle-class guilt. You clearly don't understand it if the minute injustice hits you, you collapse into a ball with your hands over your head, trying to pretend it isn't happening. Most people live it every day and they get on with their lives in spite of it. I don't think I'm doing any of those things. You're waiting on a resolution. You're, you're, you're waiting for something to be over that all the experts, especially me, are telling you won't be over. Not for ages, like months, if not years, and you need to live in the meantime, and you're not. You're not, and that's your own sodding fault. You can't live your ideal life, you can't live the life you planned, but you can live a life. So live. Do something. Stop blaming it on lockdowns and bereavement and breakups and coronavirus oh that's the first time you've used that word what coronavirus oh it's been in our lives and controlling what we can and can't do all this time and i don't think we've named it i don't remember typing it maybe we did but 
that's what's to blame for all this, and and we haven't said it out loud. Jesus. You're still blaming it. It hasn't been controlling us. Really? Then why all this? The lockdowns and separations? They're real. They're happening, but they're not everything. They're not your life. And if they're stopping you from doing anything, it's because you're using them as an excuse. An excuse? Coronavirus isn't a villain. It isn't your enemy. It doesn't want anything. It's just a thing. It's not to blame for existing any more than anyone's to blame for existing. Nobody's to blame. You can't blame the government for it, or the Wuhan authorities, or people who eat bats for some reason, or some random pagolin for not getting enough vitamin C. Coronavirus is just a single shit thing that has happened in your life, and shit happens. All the time. And people get on with their life in spite of it. They deal with it. And the question is, how are you going to deal with it? So we're breaking up. Wow. Thanks for reading all of my incisive commentary. I'm glad I went to the effort of typing it now. Are we? You haven't answered my question. Are we? I think the question is, are we together? Oh. Are we? Right. It's a genuine question. I don't think I have the answer. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe that is the answer. Shit. Hey! Long time no speak! Isn't it? Or is it? I think I lost the ability to process time at some point last April. If not earlier. Or do I mean later? The lockdown time vortex. Who knows how many hours, days or years are stored within. And another on the way. Oh god. Yeah. (sighs) Do you ever wonder if this is ever going to end? It'll end. But don't worry, I'm sure there'll be others. Maybe the next pandemic will work out better for you. Oh Christ, don't. And then global warming on the horizon? Should have set my alarm for that. And the fascist takeover. I don't know if they'll be slotting that in before or after. You're still getting all your news from Twitter then? It seems the safest thing. That or switching it off altogether. Yeah. Are you okay, Matt? Is that still your business? That's up to you. I'm not sure that's how relationships work. I'd heard it was a two-way thing. This is a relationship, whether it's romantic or not. And it's one where I want to know if you're okay. Not that I'm okay. I want to know either way. Regardless of whether you can do anything to affect it? Regardless. It's a big question. Well, we've got all locked down. Or the next one. Or the next one. Or the fascist takeover. Or until Britain sinks into the sea. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So... Matt? So maybe it can wait.